Guys, we are seconds away from the main event of the evening, Scottish Super Bantamweight Championship. The first of our challengers is just about to make his way to the ring. So would you please welcome all the way from New Hill and Lancashire, here comes the Dylan And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes from Inverness, Gillum Titanium Turbo! Guys, you're watching JT Brands coverage of the SM Promotions North vs West showdown in the ring. Devin Abico and Carol Tombo as they are just about to enter 10 three minute rounds for the Scottish Super Bantamweight Championship. Let's pass to King Stephen in the ring as he introduces both boxers. You are all very welcome here to the centre of the boxing universe and at the Dramosi Hotel in Inverness, Scotland. And this is our featured contest of the evening. So I think this will be about a technical difficulty there. We'll be back. In the ring just a setting, Dylan Arbico and Callum Tumbo, Scottish Super Bantamweight Championship. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let's pass back to Keith Stephen in the ring. Ten rounds of boxing for the vacant Scottish Super Bantamweight 122 pound crown. All our officials ringside have been appointed by the Scottish Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control. Our supervisor is Mr. Paul Graham. He sits alongside our Chief Inspector, Mr. Robert Craig. Our medical officers are Doctors Louise McCulloch and Mark Malavage. And our inspectors work in the corners are Tony Robertson and Mr. Bobby Russell. Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. John Bruce. 
and in charge of the action, a referee from Hamilton, one of Scotland's finest, Mr. Kenny Pringle. And so, ladies and gentlemen, for the Zola hundreds in attendance here at ringside, for all those watching live on JATV, the officials are ready, the boxers are ready. Are you? Introducing the first of our challengers. He boxes out of the red corner. He wears the white and pink shorts. Weighed in 120 pounds and four ounces. An undefeated record. Three contests, three wins. With two big wins inside the distance from Ewer Hill, Lanarkshire, Dylan. the ring in the blue corner, wearing the white shorts with yellow and black trim. He tipped the scales 119 pounds and 4 ounces. He too is undefeated. Four contests, four wins with one KO. From the Highland capital, Inverness, Scotland, Kill, Titanium Turbo. So guys, you're watching JTV Live's coverage of the SM Promotions North vs West showdown in the ring of main event. Dylan Arbicot in the red corner from Newt Hill Second and Callum Turnbull one. from Inverness. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for ten three-minute rounds. You remember both these boxers. I think the first time they've both done 10 rounds. Well, they're both scheduled to do 10 rounds, so they want to pace ourselves so much. And we just suss each other out a bit. But if they do see an opening, we did see this as a 50 50 fight. Biggest test of either of the professional boxing careers so far. We are the sold out new Dramos Hotel in Inverness. Dylan has brought a big following with him as well. And both boxers have a lot of support online. And back forward there, this crowd gets behind both the boxers. I know both these boxers as well. It's a, it's a weird uh, feeling about nerve wracking. Nice back and forward there again. They are going to test each other. We did see 50 50 fight. Ten seconds around number one, and what a opening first round it's been! Wow, uh, great opening first round. 
If we have 10 of these, uh, this will be shaping up to be a bit of a belt up. Uh, so Darren Arbico in the red corner and Callum Turnbull in the blue. Uh, both testing each other, we did, we've said it, I've said it non-stop, 50-50 bout this is. Um, both looking to make that, that step up and to get a Scottish Super Bantamweight title this earlier in their professional careers. Just shows you the work that they put in. Um, not just as professionals, but as amateurs guiding up towards this. Didn't seem that long ago, um, Darren won the Scottish Elite Championship, uh, which is now the Golden Gloves Box in Scotland. So, um, keep the comments coming in online. Don't go quiet on me. We've got round number two. Second time. Round two. Both boxers um, capable of throwing these, these snap jabs, they just come out of nowhere. Um, and then that loaded right. And the other thing is they don't back down. If they do get hit with a jab, they're just straight in there again just to try and, and pick up points for themselves. Nice spot girl, Darren Arbicourt, get the pink and white bad boy shorts. But as we've seen for the other Inverness boxers earlier, they're very fit as well, fighting fit. Nice work girl for Darren as he starts to find his rhythm. We've seen Darren's last match up. Um, we got a spectacular second round knockout. The young guy was in the ring who didn't know. Didn't even know where he was afterwards. Yeah, when keeping that, that pressure up as Calm tries to look for an opening uh, to respond. So I'm definitely being a busier boxer. Switching to the body there. As I said, both boxers are capable of throwing these these, these very sharp uh, jabs and then falling up right straight away with the, the right hand um, to see an opening you see Dylan there throwing that left sometimes down to the body and then try to throw the right to the head straight after Just keeping that right loaded, but keeping it as a guard as well because Callum has caught him earlier on. Going to the final few seconds in round number two. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, another <laughs> great round there. Uh, some of the crowd on their feet. I don't know how much you can see there. Um, Dylan supports are right in front of me. I think so. Earlier on the, the matchup, uh, Dylan starting to find his rhythm a bit more. Um, seeing Callum get caught here and there, he's trying to uh, see openings. Uh, Darren, for me, busier in that round. Um, first round, probably a bit even, try to suss each other out. Uh, if you get any thoughts, um, a, lot, a lot of you are better than me uh, uh, commentating. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, we've got that, that camera that gets right up there. Um, I know the ropes are a bit awkward, but you should be able to see. Um, a better view of what I can see. So guys, you're watching JTB Live's coverage of the SM Promotions North vs West showdown. We waited the whole night for this. Darren Arbico. And Callum Turnbull. This is round number three. Callum 
Callum, try to keep that composure there. But Dylan keeping the pressure up. Big right there landing from Dylan after a few quick jabs. They get a bit scrappy, Kenny Pringle keeping an eye on it. The action up close. Again, Dylan for that left and right. Callum just losing his... Been a bit disorientated. Just needs to keep that, that stance. Keep his composure as we've seen earlier in this round. Try to loosen up a bit using that ring space. Dylan just keeping focus, keeping his eyes chained on the target. And he is like this outside the ring as well. He's, he's cool, calm, and collected. Calm, to be honest, as well. He's a, he's a tough, tough young boxer. Um, spoke to him earlier. They both had the moment. Callum now getting a bit more confident. He's starting to find his rhythm in this round. Dylan just switching back to the basics. Trying to let, uh, he's trying to let Callum dictate where he's to go in the ring. Great work from both boxers. Uh, so far. You see a change in Callum for the for Ellen even in this round he's starting to get a bit more composed. Dylan try to keep that work rate up. As Callum tries to torment him, try to wind him up. And this is what I mean with these two, they can switch it up that quickly um, the Denny pace herself for the 10 rounds see Dylan smiling there as he goes back to his, his corner um, another great round there I think for me Callum started to find his, his feet and his, his rhythm and that's why this is I'm going to say again 50-50 very sound out bro he walks in smiling he's happy um, but great work there um, as I say, two fantastic boxers that we've, we've followed. Uh, they've been a JTV Live uh, since we started way back in 2019. Um, I'm getting like goosebumps. This is real. No felt of this in a long time. They're uh, watching a, a, a pro fight. Um, but as I said, I know both the boxers well. Um, and I was starting to feel a bit nervous coming up to it. Because I know what they're both capable of. That's the thing. Here we go on to the third. Round four. Round four, I nearly said round three. <laughs> uh, and the crowd is loving this, I can just tell you that. Uh, shout out to Liam Coyle who's supporting Dylan online. Get a bit scrappy at times, but we've both seen what they're capable of. Callum was just showing off a wee bit, trying to wind Dylan up towards the end of that third round. I think Dylan was smiling as he went back to his corner. I think he enjoyed it. And that's the thing, both of these boxers just love to box. If they need to go in for a scrap, they'll take it there. But this title and this fight means a whole load to, to both of them. As they're looking to make a step up very early in their careers. Oh, 
Devon just sat he's still force Callum in the back foot get him against the ropes Callum can switch it up and he'll come out uh, fighting if he needs to switch it to the body now from Devon Callum does the same sometimes almost like a mirror image each other it's like a, a very intense spa big shots there landed from Callum Devon switches back to that straight jab just sticking to the basics Callum switching body, head, body A shout to young James Cushion who's watching and supporting Darren online and what I mean event this is lining up to beat I think earlier on both boxers are looking for an opportunity to see if they can get maybe a quick finish, test each other out. No, it's a case of trying to wear each other down. Got the final few seconds around number four. Wow. Uh, we're scared just for 10 rounds. It may go that, that long. Um, but what the first four rounds have been, been brought, I could probably watch this all day. Uh, and you can, you can watch it back. You can watch it back on JTY's YouTube channel. You're about to get to round number five. Uh, shout out to all our sponsors, you'll see them scrolling along the middle of the screen. Uh, I'm an Amon Co. Shout out to the firm. Watch the firm. And BBC iPlayer is back on BBC Scotland tomorrow at nine. Um, the firm is a, a fly the wall documentary of Amon Amon Co. and his team. In the case you'd be working on, Amma's been a friend of mine for years, but also a supporter of the JTV Live and our Scottish Box of Year Awards. So we've got the round number I think the game plan would be, as I just said, in round, round four, start wearing each other down. See them both taking opportunities to switch to the body. Just forces the, the hands down in the, the later rounds. Still even for big shots, nice big straight right, right to the chest there from, from Devin. <laughs> absolute battle this has turned out to be they both want this title these combinations are coming from Carroll he's going to white and gold Both still looking for openings and then just punishing each other in the retaliation.
straight right there coming from from Darlene Callum they're the one try to force him in the back foot final 10 seconds of round number 5 Darlene get his guard up taking it to the centre of the ring both boxers definitely start to find the rhythm um, as I said walking each other down when they can uh, we'll be back in about half a minute or so So thank you to all our sponsors who've been supporting JTV Live and our Scottish Boxing Year Awards. Get in touch if you're interested in supporting us. We've got to round number six, six of ten on the schedule. Del Narbico in the white and pink bad boy shorts. And Callum Turnbull in the gold and white. This is for the Scottish Super Bantamweight Championship belt. Uh, Josh Alexander, I agree with you. Um, first round, I had it slightly even, uh, but I just had Dylan up. Um, so I've got Dylan up by one round going into this. Uh, but Callum starting to find his rhythm as I said see that at the end of round number three he's starting to be a bit more comfortable try to wind uh, Dylan up we'll see it here he's spinning like the Tasmanian devil and he does have that that comfortability in the ring but as uh, is Dylan Dylan has been a lot of tough uh, bouts not just as a professional but as an amateur as I said, this didn't seem that long ago when he was he won the the Scottish Elite Championship. Say, this is shaping up to be an absolute uh, better a, a contest. Uh, apologies for the people in front, it is. from Carl as we got into the closing moments Ellen looking to, to land a big right and the bell will sound
Uh, so that's been six rounds down. Uh, so far we've got another four scheduled. Um, uh, Gavin, uh, is it Buchan? Um, I agree, I think. Callum is starting to, to get stronger um, as the round's going. Um, as I said, both tough boxers, both would be training for this. Means a lot to both of them. Um, we've got four more rounds left on the schedule. And I'm hoping it goes, I'll be going to the, the 10 round. I'd like to see um, maybe in the last round um, a knockout, maybe. Um, as I said, I like both these guys. Um, they're putting their heart and soul and they've really put on a show so far. Round number seven, here we go. Darwin still using that ring space when he can. He has his guard up, he's just looking for that perfect time to throw that, that left or right. Uh, but Carl loosened up at the end of the third round. He really started to show his, his talent and skill. Um, it was never going to be easy for either one. Darren trying to keep busy, just every step back, making it difficult for Calm to land. Calm pushing forward. And that's the thing, not either of them has backed down since that, that first bell went in round number one. For both boxers, this this is what they want. But be careful what you wish for. This is when it starts getting tough. You get broken hands, and some rounds have to carry on. Yeah. Yeah. swinging on the back foot. Carlum tries to get him up against the ropes. He does get him up against the ropes. Nice head movement there from, from Darren, he's landed a few. And this may just come down to who's, who's got more stamina, who's got the, the fight in them to get through to that, that last round. Dylan looking very comfortable now, but Carlum still trying to keep busy. Throwing big shots, switching from body to head. Final 10 seconds. Round number seven. Uh, great work again. I mean, these two have not stopped um, since they got in that, that ring. Um, and it's almost, you start to feel it's going to be a shame for whoever does he go home with that belt. Because um, up until now, both of them deserve it. But they've got one more hurdle to overcome, and that's each other. Um, but great work, I'm loving this. Uh, let me know your thoughts online, keep the comments coming in. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe. We've only got 26 people liking, there's uh, 230 of you watching. You're watching it for free, mate. You're watching it for free. So get that like like button hit. And if you do have a few quads that you want to spare, GTV Goals Youth Metering uh, Project is in the description. Here we go, round number eight.
I mean, we've said since this uh, contest was booked, this would be a tough, I keep saying it, 50 50 contest. Darren really trying to keep the pressure on Darren. Darren, keep that guard up. You need to take that in consideration as well how much is landing. Uh, Robert Collis, cheers for that. Um, there's, a, there's a big YouTube uh, contest on the night at some point. Take the question there, it should be ways now. Seems to keep the momentum up. Carl definitely trying to keep busy this round, Devil using that ring space, trying to give himself a wee bit of a breather at times. Try to find big short sales. He goes to the the body. Been a few settings around. Number eight. Uh, so apologies, a wee bit of a technical question that happened there. I think we've sorted it out. Uh, we are in a busy, busy venue, we're using their Wi Fi, it's not always great. Uh, keep the comments coming in, uh, Genie1976. Uh, Carl bringing it out, go on, son. Uh, we've got Cameron Tillman supporting uh, Carl as well. Uh, Matty Clark, let's get Carl up two rounds. Uh, Louise Rankin agrees with me, it will come down to the, the stamina. Uh, shout out to Mark Real Life Boxing. Uh, somebody like swung back and hit in my table or just his internet was sort of crunching. Here we go. Round nine. Round number nine. Dylan Arbico in the pink and white shorts. Callum Tombo in the gold and white. This is for the Scottish Super Bantamweight Championship belt. I did see the boxers since the first 10 rounder, they need to pace themselves to land that 10. Not either of them step, uh, stopped. But Darren did take a wee breather here and there. I wonder if this is part of the, the plan. Car, I'm getting a wee bit cocky. Big body shot there landing. Seven does not lay up. Yeah. 
Oh, this is brilliant. Both these boxes have put the heart and soul into this. This crowd nearly get behind both boxers. This is mad man, not one of them was lit up um, through this <laughs> this battle. Absolute battle. Final ten seconds of round number nine. That's the bill, we're back in just a sec. So guys, welcome back. You're watching GTV Live's coverage. This is the final round of the final contest. Nice show of respect there between both these boxers. Devin Arbico in the red corner. Callum Tumbo in the blue. It could come down uh, to this round. Well, supporters online, some have Devon up, some have Cargum up. Yeah. Both boxers will be wanting to see the deal have a big finish. But both have earned each other's respect, they've also earned the right to hold that title. Back there landed, Dillon, we just shook it off and continued. And that's the thing, not one of them is back down. When there is these big shots landing, either to the body or the head. The crowds really get behind these two. As I said, they've earned the crowd's respect, earned each other's respect. Big shots are landing from Darren. 
Can Carroll keep that stamina as he has done throughout? He's still smiling, as I said, he loves to, he loves to box, he needs to take it to a scrap, as we've seen. Final few seconds around. Number 10. Wow. Absolute belt on a performance there for both these boxers. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. I if you're going to be watching that YouTube boxing push later, <laughs> I can say this is after the watershed. It's my channel. Go fuck yourself. This is real boxing. This is Scottish boxing at its best. UK boxing. Um, we're going to pass to Craig Stephen in the ring with the official announcement. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll have a Scottish super bantamweight champion for you in just a few moments. Guys, you're watching JTV Live's coverage in SM Promotions North vs West. Showdown, the main event. Just finished. Darren Arbico and Callum Turnbull. The belt was in the ring. Let's pass to Craig Stephen with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, before we declare the result, our referee, Mr. Pringle, has asked that you join him and congratulate both these boxers on an absolutely fantastic contest. You can watch all you want on television. Nothing beats the real thing here in Scotland, ladies and gentlemen. We go to Mr. Pringle's score totals. It's close, it's 96-95. The winner who is now the Scottish Super Bantamweight Champion from New Haven. So ladies and gentlemen, two absolute warriors, two boxers with total respect for each other, two guys that have come through the amateurs, now in the pros, and I'm sure we will see this one again. Ladies and gentlemen, please your appreciation for the new Scottish Super Bantamweight Champion, Dylan Arbuckle. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Stephen Moore for SM Promotions, on behalf of our officials, on behalf of our boxers, thank you so much for coming out, for spending your hard-earned money, for supporting our boxers, supporting our local boxers, supporting our visiting boxers. I do a lot of boxing shows. 
is a very, very good boxing crowd here in Inverness, and I don't say that lightly. Have a very safe journey home when you do go home, and we will look forward to seeing you the next time. From all of us here at the Dramossi, a very good night. Good night. Uh, so guys, <laughs> one absolute uh, building up performance here from both boxers. Darren is just grabbing. I uh, see. Sorry. Uh, move up. Move up. Move in. Move in. Uh, Darren Albico, Scottish Super Bantamweight Champion. How does that sound? Fantastic. Buzzing man. Some fight. I know it was man, like it came right down to it. It did look uh, close, both of never took your foot off the gas. No. Um, when it comes to that close and you're in that ring and you're hearing 96, 95, what's going through your mind? Well, we thought we'd done enough to win it. We were saying that in the corner. Uh, we won a lot of the early rounds, but then you're away from home, aren't you? So you're always out with your in the back, you read your app. Ah, fuck. But we, were, we thought comfortably that we won it there. Just. Just uh, it was a close fight. Uh, but I know they got it. Bro, it's just like some people were saying, forget all this YouTube shit, all these YouTube boxers. Um, this is boxing, man. This is not just for Scottish boxing, but UK boxing, and like um, people could watch this throughout the world. And, and both of you went in first ten rounder as well. Um, what, was, what, what was that like? Well, that's the thing we were saying in the last interview at uh, Radisson, I well, will work our way up to six. I've done three, four rounders. Well, I've done one four rounder, know what I mean? I've only went to distance in one. Well, we thought we'd get a six rounder and then start chasing titles next year, but this came up and you need to take, take opportunities like that. I think it's, I've, I know um, Callum, all, all the boxers that have been on the night, I've been up in Inverness before, um, I know that they put their heart and soul into it. Um, but coming into like the lines then as well in Inverness with all his fans, you had a lot. I'm, all your fans are right in front of me. He walks in as well. He could have certainly see. Come on, run, run, run. Um, But what does what it what's it mean to you? Have that support? There's a lot of people watching online as well. So we got. I was glad we got the stream out and um, able to, people can watch it for free. Can I get that anywhere else? Well, you, there's only 17 of the boys here, but see what they sound like. They sound outnumbered. <laughs> we outnumbered them, I. Uh, so you were just saying, the last time I spoke to Dylan, we were saying he's got to work his way up, maybe get six rounders, eight rounders. You just threw him right out of the deep end, but you believed in him, I think. He deserved it. That's it, that's the thing. I massively believed in him to do it. My voice is totally gone, by the way. And I need to say credit to that boy as well. That was, a, that was, that was, I thought that was a lot tougher and harder fight than I thought. And I came out about halfway, I went, we're dead level here. And at the end, I went, Know that people say it, I says there's a fag paper in this, there's nothing in this, and then fair enough, 96, 95, there was nothing in it, but I'm so proud of him, honestly. And he works hard, and see people that are professional, put all the work and all the rest of it is good. Could, I could have done without nearly the heart attack at ringside, but I'm honestly, I'm delighted. And we've done it, and you know something, if they want to do that again down the line, and we maybe go and try something else, isn't it great, but so proud of him. For stepping in from He's better than six round, six round fights, but he's never done six rounds, and he's gone through a ten rounder, and that was a war of attrition. That was a bloody war. Too much actually for my heart, but it was great. And, and I was saying it wasn't that long ago. I was sitting at the ringside when you became Scottish Elite Champion. That wasn't that long ago, and to make that transition and then to to go for for belts. I mean, um, I I love your persona outside the ring, and I love your your, your focus and in that inside the ring. He was trying to wind you up at times. I seen you were smiling and you went back to the corner. I've, you've seen it all, done it all anyway. You, you know what to expect in the ring. Uh, but did that get under your skin at any point? No, I'm, see the way I'm in the ring. I'm same out the ring. I'm laid back, so take a lot to wind me up. You know what I mean? So see all that. I fucking just gives out my head. It's a fine ball. Okay, let's go. So um, in a few weeks' time, we've got the the Arlo show. Yeah, that's a few weeks time, but I think tonight's honestly for me is just all about Dylan. That was that was a huge, it was a big step up, jumping. It was a big gamble. I went like, because you go, well, let's go to ten rounds, do it, and he's come through and he's won it. And honestly, but you can hear my voice. I cannot be happier, honestly. And this is what this is what it's all about. It's having real fights 
Scottish boxing real fights, some great fighters. And the reason he's done it because he's, he's professional. He's fit as anything and he lives a life. If you don't live a life, you're not doing things like that. And that's and huge credit to that boy there as well. They're fantastic. They might do that again down the line for who knows, it might be an eliminator or whatever, but it was a is <laughs> I honest I'm so proud of him. Fantastic. Let's see that belt before you go, man. Let's see. You don't want to take it off. There we go. Um Listen, Dylan, thanks so much. Who are we going to shout out to? Who's been, who's been supporting you? Well, I'd like to shout out Michael Carlin. Uh, Michael's got to come up, but I think he's busy. Uh, Michael's my main sponsor. Michael's helped me out a lot. Uh, heart of gold, great man. Uh, so a big shout out to him, big shout out to the boys that came up. I mean, it's a trek away. Oh, tell me about it. I came up with all the equipment and the chain with you, man. Um, what is it? What's it? N initial plans are you looking forward to maybe I remember Cash used to always go to like Bistro for like after he a, a chips cheese donor or something um, and then it was right back into training Do you, what is the plan for you? I, I'll, I'll no stop training you know what I mean but I like a lunch after this you know what I mean so I'll pig out a bit but I'll still be in the gym uh, I don't take days off and that but we'll take a wee hang we'll get a wee break over Christmas now and I'll be back out in February you know saying earlier on so I'll get a wee break and then back to it Oh man, listen, David Arbico, Scottish super bantamweight champion. I like to go celebrate, man. Some of these big shots, I don't want any of that. Um, in fact, I like to go celebrate with them, man. Guys, that was David Arbico, the new Scottish super bantamweight champion. You'll be watching JATV Live's coverage of the SM Promotions North vs West showdown. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a chance to, to chat to Carlin, but I will catch up with him. As I said, I've known him for years. Great boxer. Uh, both of them put their heart and soul in it. Thanks so much for the, the support as well that's been coming in online. You can watch all this back. We will get HD versions out um, as well. But until uh, next time, um, have a great night. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Felix in the red corner.